They're still without two key players, but guys, they're ready to take a run with some healthy guys. All right, Holly, thank you. We are underway. Ted Valentine, Brian Dorsey, Mark Schnur are the officials. The first possession belongs to the Seminoles and the Orange, of course, in their trademark 2-3 zone. At noon Eastern here on ESPN, Jalen Worley into the game for Florida State. Leonard Hamilton, even with the injuries, will substitute liberally and use a lot of guys. And gone. This time it goes. Really smart to get the ball into the corners. And you can flatten it out if you put somebody in the corners, but it's a good place to attack from. Always the middle of the zone is key, but those corners are going to be key in this one. Jimmy Beheim driving on Engom and lays it in to put Syracuse back on top. Because he won't change the way he plays. Yeah, it's funny, he, he doesn't race by you, and he doesn't jump over you, but he can get where he wants to get to get that shot off. Butler, no. Wilkes with a follow and a finish. Defensive possession is not over until you secure the rebound. Inside position. Smart play by Jimmy Beheim. Now Buddy Beheim finds Joe Girard, who left it short. Rebound Ansula. Another look for Girard. Syracuse has pure shooters. Caleb Mills into the game off the bench. Even with the injuries, they're still a deep team. Butler gets a friendly bounce. Oh, the drive by Mills really set it up, and then he got it to Butler, and then Butler could drive the closeout. So moving the ball from side to side is really important, but it's the penetrating move that's even more important. How about that? Buddy Beheim off the dribble, little spin, not just a standstill shooter. So you try to take those away, but that opens up a drive, loves to spin, and with his size, he can shoot over you. A nice tightrope walk there by Caleb Mills on the baseline. Mills up top, and the finish for Jalen Worley. Syracuse's opponent is scoring second chance points. Swider, yes. And how important is that? You just don't want to give open threes up to this team. Great steal by Swider. You saw Jimmy Beheim go to the bench with two fouls. Symir Torrance is in, so Buddy Beheim drops down to the back line of the zone. More so than a three, and... Buddy Beheim was able to just walk into that three with ease. Matthew Cleveland with an impressive baseline drive for the Seminole. And gone. Doesn't look for a shot. Mills blocked by Swider. Numbers for Syracuse. And Swider cleans it up. Syracuse by six. That's a tough shot for Engon to hit. And it's just a two if he makes it. Swider. That's a three. And the lead grows for the Orange. Um, all game long. Swider feeling it. His third three already. He's got 11 points. And it's Syracuse. He scored more points in the Smith Center than any player ever in that building. Barama Sidibe with a block. A transition three for Joe Girard. Evans, shot clock at three. Mills knows it and hits it. Oh, a really good play by Evans there to get the ball to Mills. Anselm had it, but had it taken away. Now Polite, one on three, and he'll finish and draw the foul. What a tough take by Anthony Polite. His mom was coming over for senior day from Lugano, Switzerland, where he's from, and so he did all kinds of rehab. He was not going to miss games while his mom was in town to watch him play. Buddy Beheim working hard on the dribble, but Polite staying with them. Beheim wins the battle. Some stick to itiveness there from Buddy Beheim. One, you might be able to wear Syracuse out a little bit. These guys play a lot of minutes, but they've got to play a faster tempo. They like Mills in the middle of the zone. And if you make him drive, that's a win. There's a switch. Shot clock running down. Gerard, left hand. Gerard just got lower. But Swider can't finish it. Boy, Torrance made a terrific play. Maybe the easiest shot that Syracuse has had. And it turns into a layup on the other end. And Syracuse doing a better job recently keeping the Seminoles off the offensive glass. Another fake and another clean look. And Gerard knocks it down. Gerard, the second Syracuse player into double figures along with Swider. Now a turnover, and Swider's got 13. Just not strong enough. Left hand of Anselm just took it away. Swider, 
Boy, he's getting anything he wants right now. Cole Swider's got 15. Florida State can't get any rhythm. Torrens stumbled and turned it over. Just the second turnover committed by Syracuse and a transition bucket to the other end for Matthew Cleveland. To only 27% for Florida State. Here's the, the switch. And Gom having to guard Gerard. He can get by him easily. Scored a ton of points in high school. Three-year starter for the Orange. Cleveland bothered by Torrance, who knocked it away. Good minutes from Symir Torrance for the Orange, and that continues. So far in this one, and he's played all over the zone. He's played up top. He's played down on the wing, on the baseline. Prieto with a little reverse scoop. The assist to John Butler. But Syracuse fans, uh, they're just not in the frame of mind to feel comfortable about anything. Turn around, Prieto. He said, Anthony Polite, Caleb Mills, those are our energy guys, and they just didn't have it. They got tired. And again, Syracuse, not a very deep team at all. Does that impact them later on in the game? And this by Buddy Beheim for Rama Sadibe with great work on the offensive play. 73-year-old Leonard Hamilton, 20 years in Tallahassee. 77-year-old Jim Beheim, 46 years as the head coach at Syracuse, his alma mater. Turn around by Swider, and it's his afternoon, isn't it? Well, Florida State really trying to get out and deny. And they're forcing Syracuse further out on the floor. A turnover. Raekwon Evans off to Matthew Cleveland and a little spurt here for Florida State. And that's what Florida State has to do. But Syracuse is going to try to use some clock. Three-pointer wide left. Rebound Jimmy Beheim. Swider from the corner. Yes! And a foul! Good answer. And a good kick. And good patience. And a good result. Buddy Beheim for three. Anselm tips it to keep it alive. And Swider runs down another one. Anselm the finish. They're just out working the Seminoles right now. Well, Swider's been all over the place. Florida State came in here having won three in a row. Syracuse came in here having lost four in a row. Go figure. Torrance. And where's the help? Well, he's middle of the floor. I think they've been equally as impressive, Jay, at the defensive end. They played with great energy at the defensive end today. And Swider just, I mean, anything he wants right now. So Swider's still on the bench coming out of the under 12. Now there's, a, again, a ton of time. How about that? Well, we mentioned they, they played two really close games during the regular season. And I thought this was going to be a game that would be likely to be played in the 60s, low 70s. And as long as you have to. A shot blocked by Butler, and nobody is there in a white jersey to get the rebound. Anselm with an easy one. Mills, touch pass, Cleveland. That's a tough shot, the way his momentum is carrying him away. Another guy with a ton of talent, just a freshman. They've had so many problems with injuries and difficulties, and early on in the season, defense was, was an issue, but their defense has been terrific in this one. How about Anselm? Good cut. He's done everything you would expect or want out of playing in the middle of that zone. He's been engaged there, and he's rebounded his tail off. You know, brought in Dallas Walden from Colorado in addition to the two that you mentioned Jake LaRavia went to Indiana State transformed his body and his game Buddy Behan layup that's a layup for him well over 300 in his career at Syracuse but Florida State not even wow. getting back wow I mean Leonard Hamilton has just got to be livid with the effort in defensive transition and look, it's tough when you're down this level. Because Florida State knows this game's over. And again, with a big lead, Jim Beheim can rest some of the key guys. And will rest more than Jimmy Beheim. A great feed. How many lobs have the Orange gotten today? Yeah, it's just not an engaged Florida State defense right now. What that really does is necessitate more big and tall scores in Tallahassee. <laughs> There's Naheem McLeod at 7-4. Technically cleared the play. Got a wrap on his hand. Hasn't played in over a month as Engam lays it in with a left hand. 
Hattie Casey is into the game. The grad student from Scranton, PA, is in gone, slams it home. Some difficult matchups, and Duke can really put some playmakers in the middle of that zone. They've got shooters on the perimeter. Casey, we told you. And the Syracuse fans and teammates alike loving it. In and out for Wilkes. Engom tips it back up and in. A little bit too strong on the three. Jimmy Beheim, the only starter still in the game for Syracuse. John Butler. And that's what he can do. A seven-footer with a legitimate three-point shooting strip. Wound up after 14 points, knocked down three threes against Duke. Anselm adds to his totals the assist to Casey. Torrance. Owens for the finish. And they're all having fun right now for the Orange. Well, just a complete game for Syracuse in every facet. And a date with Duke tomorrow as Chris Laval. Trying to simulate the other team, you know, playing. If you got to be uh, the best player on the other team, you play without fear in practice. So it's on to the quarterfinals for Syracuse. They thumped Florida State 96 to 57.